Now, before we jump into the media plan and how to create a media plan, for some of you who do not know, I will explain what a media plan is. So a media plan is an Excel sheet or a PDF table, which basically contains three kinds of information for any campaign. One, you send it to clients where you explain what channel mix we are going to use, what are the channels we are going to invest in, for example, Facebook, Google Ads, YouTube, and how much money are we investing on each of these platforms. Apart from that, you also have information like what targeting will you use for each channel and what kind of ad formats will you use. And then you also have information like what will be the deliverables on estimated deliverables on each channel. Obviously, you cannot be exact because they are all biddable channels. So there are always variations, everyday variations in terms of CPC or CPM. So you but you give an estimated forecast about how many impressions, how many clicks, how many views, how many leads, how many app installs, whatever the campaign is about. You provide all these estimation and forecast in the media plan as well, which you kind of in a way indirectly commit to that this is like what we are aiming for. And in most of the cases, so for example, if you're onboarding a new client, a media plan is also called a financial proposal, which goes to the procurement team. So for example, if you're onboarding, if you're pitching for a business, you give a technical proposal, which is your strategy strategy which you can learn in this video and then for your the procurement team you also provide this financial uh, proposal or a media plan based on which they will judge you that how, how I mean how much deliverables are your computers committing what are the CPM rates CPC rates and how much are you committing so basically media plan is a very important document and you it's an important skill to create a media plan as well now who works on a media plan now generally in big agencies there are media planners and there is a media Media planning team who work on these media plans and generally they are the campaign owners so for example if I am a media planner what I'll do is there's a campaign uh, there will be a strategy based on that strategy I'll create a media plan I'll get it approved and then I will be the owner of this campaign and I will coordinate with digital media specialists but in some other agencies there can be different setups and in smaller agencies it's the digital media specialists who work on these media plans and send it to clients so all in all if you are in digital marketing in any way associated in any way it's very important for you to know how to create a media plan or how to look at a media plan or at least know how a media plan looks like so let's first jump into my screen and I will show you uh, what a media plan looks like so this media plan I created just for this video so that you can have a look and uh, it's probably I would say a fairly uh, good media plan it, it's a professional media plan I mean even if it's a campaign for more than a million uh, dollars this media plan will justify i mean it's good enough to go so if you so if you see that this media plan is divided into three tabs here one is i mean it depends it completely depends on you you can put all of the information in one tab in in the excel sheet but it looks a kind of messy so but i have seen i mean this is based on what i have seen good media planners in big agencies they divide generally media plans in these three tabs or then can be any additional tabs as well if you want to go detail which we will know in in in, in some a few minutes so if you look at this media plan the first tab here is summary tab which is media plan executive summary now this particular tab is generally for if you send it to i mean if you're working for a client you send this media plan i mean if they need to get an approval on this media plan from a chief marketing officer so they don't need to look at the detailed and nitty-gritty information they can have a uh, look at this information and then they can uh, approve here so generally for example uh, you'll put your logo company logo and the client's logo here let's assume it's for SLS properties and you will have these two uh, blank spaces here for signatures so generally if I'm sending it to the client I'll put my signature or my stamp company stamp here and the client will also put their stamp or signature there and send it back to me so that it serves as a record to me that they have booked this media and they have approved this media plan <clears throat> Now, if you look at in the executive summary, there is information like client, there is project, or you can say campaign, which campaign it is. And then there is date of plan, and then there is campaign dates. So let's assume it's from August 1 to August 30, which version, because sometimes you will send it to the clients and they'll be like, no, we want this change. Can you please uh, allocate more budget to Facebook or whatever? 
can you change the date so always keep a track of this because later if you see what was the approved media plan you need to refer to the exact version so that's why so if i send it to client they send it back to me next time i send with any changes i'll change it to v2 and then prepared by the so, so that they know that who prepared this media plan and who they should reach out to then there is information like agency fees, uh, which is in this case 11%. You can, I mean, it depends on what you agreed with your client. It can be 15%, 7%, whatever. And then currency of the media plan, it actually has to be dollars <coughs> or whatever currency you work with. And then what is the VAT and who is the point of contact on the client side? So in this case, uh, who are you sending this media plan to? It can be a digital media marketing manager there or anyone. Then on this tab, if you see here, there is a table, but you don't need to fill this table. I mean, in this template, for example, it's formulated. It all comes from, for example, financial sheet. So you don't need to fill any of this. I will show you what all you need to change if you are using this template or you are creating a template like this then you will show like the cost wise breakdown on each platform so in this case we are using these five channels facebook google search youtube programmatic display and pg deals and then you will show how much cost what is the budget allocation per channel and what are the estimated leads from each channel and what is the estimated cost per lead now uh, for example if this campaign was about app installs then obviously you will show estimated app installs and what is the estimated uh, cost per install so but this one is for real estate client it's for leads so we will use estimated leads and estimated cost per lead now then obviously you'll have total how much total budget then you will add the agency fees which is again formulated which is uh, then you have VAT and what is the total payable by client which is twenty seven thousand dollars in this case now this is the information a, an, a signatory or a CMO or anyone would need to look at they don't need to look at the nitty-gritty information but this is what a summary page looks like then let's go to the second page which is targeting and schedule now you have to understand one thing like everything needs to be in the media plan there will be instances when the client will say okay why are we targeting this why are we doing this so put as much information as possible here so that later you don't have any issues so for example in this case this uh, sheet has two sections one is uh, financials and one is uh, schedule now if you look here it will have these uh, kind of uh, columns uh, which is for example Facebook and Instagram uh, what is the market so it's UAE 50% budget allocation to Sharjah and 50 to Dubai which is common throughout then we have language we are targeting 100% Arabic if you have English 50 50 whatever you decided or whatever you planned so you can put English 50% Arabic 50% whatever so this is also uh, uh, common between all the channels here and then we are in targeting now targeting you have to be very specific what you will be targeting I will tell you why uh, for example in Facebook we are targeting in market in real estate investments owning a house age 28 to 45 male only and interest because in Facebook you can target in market segments you can target interest luxury Gucci coach to me whatever I mean this is just for this video you have to actually add more information like all the segments you are planning to target media plan is basically like everything about the campaign what you are doing so then Google search will be people searching for agreed keywords to be shared separately because you obviously before going live on search campaign, you'll have to share all the keywords and how you are segmenting, segmenting them in ad groups. Now, in certain cases, uh, you can add one sheet here as well, which is search keywords and put that information here as well. But some clients say, OK, don't put it in the media plan because they have to print it and share that separately. So it completely depends on you. But you can add one sheet here, which says uh, search keywords but at least you have to mention here theme what will be the theme of the keywords which is buy house apartment town house villa in dubai similarly there's for tiktok there is for programmatic if you see here in programmatic we'll divide the campaign one will target oracle blue kai audiences which is high network individuals and in market for real estate <coughs> investments segments to be shared separately you can add them here as well the other template i'm showing you will have all these details in the same plan and then programmatic display this one is targeting only dubizel which is a website run of site property section so we are uh, doing this campaign targeting run of site on dubizel but only the property section then placements is about in facebook and instagram what you will target because 
uh, for example in this case we are targeting facebook and instagram feed and stories uh, but not the partner uh, websites of facebook or facebook network similarly google search only in terms of google we are not targeting display and um, search partners this is very important to mention because this generally comes from strategy but then again this is very important to mention here as well and then the ad formats for example for facebook and instagram we are using image video carousel and gifs and then text ads with extension video ads for tiktok <coughs> actually this has to be youtube not tiktok <coughs> okay then programmatic display image ads and html5 and for pg deal on uh, dubizel we are just using html5 then there is schedule that which channel will go live in what duration generally you can have jan feb all the months here and for example this one will go live from 15 june to september so i'll highlight these months here but type the exact dates within that as well uh, then you will have to mention some notes here for example current rates are quoted any revisions applicable at the time of booking placements of ads subject to availability forecasts are an estimate based on industry standards and forecasting tools may vary you have to make this note for every biddable channel because you never know facebook might suddenly increase the cpm the cpl whatever so you this is a note you need to always put in your media plans so then we go to the third section of our uh, media plan which is the financials which again has two sections one is the financials the rates and what we are booking and the other one is forecast forecast meaning what are we expecting what are the deliver deliverables we are expecting from this particular plan now if you see here uh, you mentioned the same channels again and then the buying model for example facebook and instagram we are doing let's say cpm on google search it's cpc on youtube we are running in um, uh, i mean in stream skippable ads which is true view ads which are bought on cpv basis so you mentioned the buying model here what how how are you buying on that platform and then audience size audience size you can get in any platform for example the targeting we mentioned here in this section if you go to facebook you give the dates you give the budgets you give uh, these uh, details about what are you targeting it will give you an estimated audience size in that geo in your targeting which you explained in the previous uh, section uh, if you are not aware about how to do this so it's google around it all the platforms you can just get this uh, audience size of your target uh, what you're targeting and because it gives an idea to the client that how many how many people are addressable or targetable on a platform who are interested in real estate uh, because if you don't do this sometimes you might be targeting a very niche audience which is let's say 100,000 users and you are investing a lot of money which doesn't even justify that amount of money for 100,000 users so this is always good to include in your plans and uh, <clears throat> sometimes the client will also ask you to add a column here that how many of these addressable audience available are we targeting let's say 40 percent 50 percent sometimes the client will tell you that our target or objective of the campaign is to reach 50 percent of our uh, targetable audience based on whatever their campaign is so mention audience size here obviously google search there's nothing uh, or no audience size you can get so this is blank and average frequency is for example this is one month campaign you also target within the strategy you mentioned this in the strategy or discuss with the client that what the average frequency should be so for example this is a one month campaign and we decided with the client that on facebook and instagram we will not show more than four ads to the same person within this month for a month is very uh restricted which means it will reach a lot of people generally it can be let's say three to five per week but that's way how you mention the average frequency here it's good to have even if you don't have this column it's okay then you mention the net rates these are important to get i mean this is the first skill in uh, media planning now how do you get it there are two ways one is you have been running some campaigns for this client similar type of campaign similar type of audience or for any other client so you just get estimates and put it there because when you do a lot of media plans you kind of understand that okay if i'm targeting a campaign to uae with this broad audience with uh, display ads or carousel this is the approximate cpm we will get but then again, there is a way you can also estimate this. If you go to Facebook or any other platform, you set up a campaign on the right hand side, it will show you the estimates about the CPMs and how many impressions you will be targeting. But uh, note that that rates put here is based on this. 
so facebook the buying model is cpm so this is 3.1 dollar cpm rate now in terms of youtube it's cpv so 0 0.03 is the cpv rate cost per view so similarly for google search it is cpc what the 2.1 dollar is the cost per click on google search so it depends the rate here is uh, for the buying model you are choosing in here then there will be billing metrics uh, which means that if this means 1500 that means i am buying 1500 cpms which is 1.5 million impressions 2200 billing metrics means uh, we are buying 2200 clicks on google ads similarly 150000 uh, but uh, for youtube means we are buying views 150000 views we are estimating 150000 views now then again you have budget share which is like uh, the budget you allocate to this channel divided by the whole amount so it's like 4650 is 18.5 percent of this they are all formulated i'll show you how to calculate these but this is just to give you an idea now there are two ways uh, okay i'll after this i'll show you quickly how to create this media plan right but i'm just giving you an idea now we move to forecast now if you go to forecast the first thing you see here is for example in here we are buying impressions so it will be exactly the impressions will be equal to what we are buying and in this case google search we are buying clicks so the clicks here will be exactly uh, equal to what we are buying and then you estimate the rest of the stuff for example let's say uh, for facebook and instagram if you see here we are buying 1500 impressions and you know from your planning you know from your past campaigns that the general CTR you should expect for this campaign on Facebook is 0.4% you put it here so you will get the clicks which is uh, Q4 by 04 which is impressions divided by CTR and you will get this with same formula you will get it for all the CPM buys which is programmatic display and uh, PG deals then obviously all of these are easy to calculate because you know the budget you know the number of clicks so CPC would be total budget divided by number of clicks and it will be the same for all uh, the tape all the channels here and then we are uh, moving to click to lead which again comes from your past campaigns what uh, or you have to estimate so it will be very specific to this client or i mean you can generally if you, it's a new client is the first campaign you're running for them this click to lead rate you can ask them okay what is your past experience from your google analytics can you provide a google analytics report where you can check the click to lead rate and you can put it here for each channel and it's easy to estimate the leads because what you do is uh, you multiply clicks and what is the click to lead rate you get the leads if you see it's p4 by s4 which is uh, this one the number of clicks multiplied by the conversion rate which is click to uh, lead and then cpl is again easy to calculate it is again uh, simply the total cost for the channel and divided by the number of leads so you will get the cpl in dollars so that's i mean how a media plan uh, looks like and how a media plan is this is probably a fairly good uh, media plan and now i will show you how to fill this information okay so let me go to a blank one so this is a blank one if you see that the summary is empty because all of this information will come when we fill the financial sheets targeting and schedule there's no formulas you just have to fill this information whatever is relevant and then we go to financials now as i told you before there is some information you need to know before filling up a media plan creating a media plan now this template here it's all formulated you just put some information and everything else will populate itself now for example uh, audience you will know from the platforms frequency you will take from the strategy or discuss with the client the net rate obviously you will take from the platforms as i told you before and click to lead rate you will take from the past campaigns or you ask a report in case of a new campaign from the client a google analytics report right now there are multiple ways to do this for example i'll show you one way the client says i have to spend a total of twenty five thousand dollars right so which means that after the tax and everything the total payable will be twenty nine thousand dollars right so uh what uh, from your strategy what you derive is and looking at the audience size what you derive is 20 percent should go to facebook and let's say google search uh 20 should go there right and youtube let's say 20 percent and let's say programmatic display is 25 percent and 
uh, we are left with 15% for programmatic display PGD, right? Now, what you do is this will be equal to the total budget multiplied by the percentage we are planning for. Okay, so let's say this budget is 20% uh, of this here. Okay, so just to use this formula again and again, I'll just add dollar signs here. So which means 5000. So what I'll do is and we'll copy this formula. So we will get the total budget for each based on this budget allocation, right? And um, so the billing matrix, what will it, it will be is equal to the budget divided by the net rate. So we'll get 1600 CPMs and similarly we'll get for example 2381 clicks for Google search. YouTube uh, we will get this number of views and also it's fairly simple. Uh, then we go to the forecast which is again very simple to calculate. Now for example uh, first thing we'll do is we'll copy whatever we have uh, booked here because that's the exact. So in this case we have booked impressions which will be this number of impressions 1000 because this is CPMs. Similarly Google search is clicks we are booking clicks so we'll copy the clicks here exactly and then for YouTube we are booking uh, the CPVs which is uh, the cost per views we don't have views here but generally you can also add one more column here which says uh, let's say views uh, let me do that insert I'll put views here okay uh, so in that case this will be nothing and this will be nothing we'll have views only for youtube which is these number of views right <clears throat> then we'll have views only for youtube in this case and then uh we go to programmatic display it will be same as the facebook we'll copy the formula here and in this case as well because they all are cpm 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 so the same formula here now CTRs you will have to generally um, because you as I told you before you will have to guess it from uh, the old campaigns or uh, estimate it based on uh, your past experience so for example let's say 0.4% CTR for uh, one second 0.4% for uh, Facebook and uh, let's say Google search it's uh, 7.5 and then uh, YouTube, the CTR uh, is, uh, let's say, generally YouTube CTR you will not calculate because it's booked on CPVs. You can do that, but let, let, let's leave it uh, in this case to keep this video simple. And for programmatic display, let's say we are estimating uh, 0 0.03, <coughs> sorry, let's say 0.3% and let's say, 0.2 percent for pg deal right okay so once you have this it's very easy now uh because for example in this case you have uh, impressions you have ctr so this will be directly this multiplied by ctr because ct uh ctr is impressions uh clicks by impressions which means that uh clicks will be uh impressions multiplied by ctr or something like that then again, I mean, you have to remember these formulas about uh, how, what CTR is uh, and so you have to understand what impressions if you have how to calculate impressions if you have uh, clicks and CTR. So similarly for uh, now we use the same formula for these two because they are booked on CPM basis as well and uh, impressions on uh, because we have CTR and clicks for uh, Google search so we have to calculate impressions which will be uh, this divided by CTR clicks divided by CTR right and then again you have to calculate impressions uh, for YouTube which will be impressions on YouTube for any CPV would be uh, the number of views uh, divided by the view through rate so for example in this case views divided by let's say the vtr for uh, youtube we are expecting is 27 percent right so you'll get uh, the number of uh, impressions as well so clicks uh, and ctr so let's say you are expecting a ctr of 0.29 percent for youtube 
which means you can calculate the clicks which is clicks are equal to impressions multiplied by CTR okay so these are the totals here and so we have all the information now except the CPCs CPC is easy to calculate the total budget you are spending divided by number of clicks you are estimating Ta and you can just directly copy the formula here and that's it and then you have uh, leads leads you will get directly from the number of clicks and uh, multiplied by your click to lead ratio or uh, rate which is you can copy directly here and uh, then you have cost per lead which is num budget you are spending and the leads you are expecting and it's very simple and you copy the formula here and that's it so this uh, these totals you can also calculate so for example ctr here would be uh, clicks divided by total impressions and then uh, clicks would be directly the sum of these columns the total and views will be again same so we'll copy the formula here and then impressions as well we we'll copy the formula cpc would be equal to the total budget uh, divided by the total number of clicks here and the click to read will be average <coughs> and then leads would be directly sum like so we'll copy this formula here which is sum of the above and then uh, in terms of CPL again we will be it will be the total budget divided by the total number of leads so which is $30 so yeah that's all I mean that's how you fix the media plan in five minutes and uh, now before uh, we close the video i just want to show you the other template which is even more by the way if you want any of these templates uh, blank templates with formulas i'll put a link in the description below if you want to buy or you can just create uh, your own from from this video okay so i also wanted to show you one uh, descriptive very explained media plan so for example this is uh, huge so for example if you see that in media plan overview you have the advertiser name plan version viewability threshold and whatnot this is uh, i mean this is specifically for uh, mostly display and programmatic so you will have all the information here then you will have dsp each channel what will be i mean if you are creating a prospecting line item you are creating a contextual line item paid audience in market affinity and all that how much budget you are spending start date end date placement environment ad format booked quantity billing metrics billing units unit cost and total cost same like our other plan so then you will have uh, deliverables for each of them separately here that what is the expected display impressions video impressions which is the forecast so in that there it was fairly simple arranged side by side here it's just arranged in this way then you will have a schedule that q1 uh, how much will you be spending the budget allocation for each platform then you have all these details like what are the day parting uh, <clears throat> for example uh, how will you schedule them during the day the categories filtering if you click on any of them you will go to the respective sheet here but nobody does so explain media plans but if you are interested to kind of edit this and make a smaller version of the same you can do that then you have pg deals here you will mention all the pg deals you'll be using this is generally a yearly plan like this template can be used by big agencies for example clients like unilever and who have millions of dollars of spend so they put everything for the year in here and then keep changing based on if they need uh, similarly day parting uh, how you will run the campaigns you have the days you have the hours and then subcategories so all the categories you see in let's say google and dv360 they all are mentioned here so you can mention that which ones you will be targeting and which ones you will not so for example apple store games kids so all the categories are here mentioned and then the pmp list you will have for example this is specifically let's say for uae market so all the big publishers of uae are mentioned here and you can just mention that what all you have booked or planned for the client 
then same for remarketing uh, the pixels implemented dmp audiences you mentioned for example if you're using oracle blue kai you mention all the segments here from oracle blue kai and what are their cpm rates and what all you will be targeting in your campaigns prospecting categories so if you see all the google affinity segments are uh, cat listed here then google in market segments are listed here then google installed apps whatever free audiences you get in google platforms they're all listed here so you can mention that what all you will be targeting uh, the frequency the geography what will you target website and app exclusion list so generally you will have all the apps which you will be excluding or some in some cases you will have a whitelist so client sometimes says okay come with a whitelist of 200 websites and apps where we will be only spending our money then sensitive categories and what all will be uh, excluded so you can mention like let's say okay all of these are excluded in our campaigns but this is a very detailed media plan and both of them you can get if you just want to create on your own you can do that and if you want to buy them i'll put a link in the description below where you can buy both of them and you can start using them from there and thank you so much i hope this was helpful in any way i will see you in the next one